Today we're going to talk about atlases. Atlases come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. They can be for children, they can be for adults. And the level of information and the detail inside each one depends on their audience. So we have two atlases on the table here. A primary Collins atlas, which is for ages seven and over. And above, we have the Times Concise Atlas of the World. This is for everybody. It has lots and lots of pictures in there, lots of graphs, lots of detail. Today, we're gonna to be concentrating on the primary atlas. So it's a nice colorful cover. You can find this online and in all good bookshops. In the inside, there's a contents page and this tells you which pages contain what information. It's also highlighted in color, color bars, break up the book into different sections. There's information in the front pages about mapping the world, how globes and map projections and latitude and longitude work, and what are hemispheres, and how do we read a grid reference? These are good pages, pages four and five, all about atlas skills, how to understand your atlas, how to read your atlas, and what information you want to find in your atlas. There's a bit on understanding maps and the map symbols. This is a very important one for looking at maps in different sizes. Scale. We've got measuring distance. This is how maths is involved in maps. We've got the different scales here. We've got small, medium and large scale mapping. What do they mean? Here's a page on the solar system. We can't see a lot of the solar system without lots of strong telescopes. But on this page, we can have a good idea of what the planets are, what their names are, how big they are, and where they are in relation to each other. You may be doing some of these topics at school. The moon. The seasons. Why do we have different seasons? Sometimes in the UK, it's winter, but in Australia, it's summer. Why is that? Let me come on to the actual map and the globes. And this page tells you all the names of the countries. And can you see the colours? Can you notice something about these colours? Not one colour is touching the same colour. So can you see the yellows on the map? They're all spread out nice and evenly. Can you see the reds? Are there two reds together? That's a mathematical. That's, that's a mathematical theory. We've got information about landscape. At the bottom of the page, there are the seven continents. It shows you the shapes of the continents and their names. Then we go into each continent and it shows us the countries and the landscapes and any pictures and photographs of what these, what these places look like. There are some volcanoes or some islands and lakes or big cities and older ancient ruins. 
Have you been to any of these places? Here's the map of the UK and it's four countries. So lots of these pictures of the maps are in colour. But the one on the left actually shows an image, a photo, a satellite image from taken from space of the country. And it describes in the top left hand corner how and where it was taken. This is a different scale to the other maps. Therefore, the map had to be rotated to fit on the page. Some more information about Scotland. And here we've got some flags. Each country has a flag. And you notice those colours again. The reds, have a look at the reds, they're all spread out. They're not, not one red is touching another red. When you get a map of the world or of part of the world, see if you can do that. Choose four different colours and see if you can colour it in, in that way. So make sure the red doesn't touch another red or the green doesn't touch another green. So it goes through all the different continents. So we've got the Arctic at the top, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. South Africa, Oceania, South America, United States of America, Canada. So they're all very similar, laid out. We've got Antarctica and our Arctic and Antarctic, the top and the bottom of the world. And then on this page here, we've got an index. And these are all in different colours. So what do they mean? It all explains everything. It's very helpful. It's in the A to Z and it will have the page number and a reference there too. Also shows you what other books are available in this series. We've got the first atlas, junior atlas, school atlas, student atlas. We've got some map start books and then some UK maps and world maps books. You have a look at a nice atlas. See what you can find. Have you been to any places? Can you find them on the maps? Can you see any nice pictures of places? Can you think about going into space? How far is Mars from Earth? What's the furthest planet? Are there any more planets? What's the deepest part of the ocean? What's the highest mountain? Lots of questions. See if you can find an atlas and see if you can find some adventures.